We are here after the six finalists for this year's Alice in Dairyland finals were announced. We're joined by Sarah Essick right now. And Sarah, take us through the emotions that you felt when you got the phone call saying, hey, can, can you come to Door County on a Friday because you're one of the six finalists for Alice in Dairyland? Absolutely. I was incredibly nervous. I thought my interview went well, but I had waited for that phone call and I was actually driving on my way home and I pulled over on the side of the road when I saw the call come through because I wanted to make sure that I got that news and I heard it correctly. And here I am as a top candidate for the 77th Alice in Dairyland. Now, you were mentioning during your introduction that you're, you're currently a teacher. Yep. And what, what, do the, what do your students, what do your fellow teachers think about about Ms. Ezek potentially becoming Alice in Dairyland. That's, that's going to be pretty cool. So they are just finding out about this right now. Oh, so I will let secret. you know on Monday okay. what they think. Uh, I did, however, have a student. We were learning about Wisconsin A commodities, and I mentioned the Alice in Dairyland program. And he said, oh, Ms. Essek, I think you should apply. So that student will be very excited to hear that I did. And here we are as a top candidate. Well, very good. And, you know, you get to be with so many girls with diverse <laughs> agricultural backgrounds and things like that. How important is it for really all of you girls that are here today during the course of the next two months kind of share that background of agriculture with not just each other, but obviously the judges and other community members that you might encounter over the next eight weeks or so. Sure. So we are here to share our story as well as the Wisconsin agriculture story. So all of us do come from different backgrounds. Some of us on the dairy farm, others of us had never set foot on a farm until they were in their teenage years. And it's really important that we are all here to advocate for Wisconsin agriculture, no matter how we got our foot in the door with the industry, here we are now to be that advocate for Wisconsin. Now you said a student said you should apply. When did you first say, hey, I wanna apply? I had not considered applying for Alice as intensely as I did this year. I would say that that student was kind of the eye opener for me that somebody else saw potential in me, not just myself. I've always followed the Alice in Dairyland finals and always thought, oh, I could be one of those top candidates someday. But it wasn't till this fall that I really put my foot in the door and started learning about the process. So it wasn't like a lifelong goal or lifelong dream to be a part of this. It sounds like you followed it, but you kind of toyed around with the idea, but didn't consider it seriously until this last fall. Yes, so I served as the Wisconsin Holstein Princess Attendant in 2015, okay. and I had dabbled with it then, but I was still finishing up my college years yep. and wrapping up and starting my career. So I kind of put it on the back burner and just realized that advocating on a larger scale, being able to teach outside of the classroom was something that this was the right time to do. And obviously, Ashley has been around the block, especially these blocks here in Door County over the last year. What have you kind of taken away from Ashley or maybe some of the other Alice in Dairylands that you, you hope to be able to bring to the position if you're chosen? Absolutely. So Ashley is actually one of my role model Alice's. This past summer, I was announcing at the Wisconsin State Fair, and she was able to recognize me and see me in the industry and I felt so valued by her and I want to be able to do that for other agriculturalists across our state being able to tell their story have those conversations with them and just be that advocate that Wisconsin agriculture truly deserves and final question obviously a lot of excitement here today at the Landmark Resort but we still have two months to go <laughs> what are you looking forward to the most over the next two months Absolutely. So I'm looking forward to a lot of the media training that we will go through, being able to expand my knowledge and grow professionally, both as an educator and as an advocate, and being able to travel, visit Door County, and learn about the industry that they have here in this part of the state. 